गुड इवनिंग एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू द ब्लैक होल दोस्तों ये ज़िंदगी ये दुनिया ये जहान या ये कायनत मुख्तलिफ लोगों के लिए मुख्तलिफ रंग मुख्तलिफ सूरत मुख्तलिफ मानी या मुख्तलिफ मफहम रखती है और शायद बड़ी हद तक इसकी वजह वो मुशाहदात हैं जो मुख्तलिफ लोगों के मुख्तलिफ होती हैं और उनके अपने अपने नुक़ नज़र पर मबनी होते हैं मिसाल के तौर पर एक सियासतदान का नुक़ नज़र कुछ और होगा एक शायर का नुक़ नज़र कुछ और होगा एक फलसफी दुनिया को किसी और निगाह से देखेगा एक बच्चा जो है वो किसी और नज़र से देखेगा एंड सो ऑन तो आज हमारा मौजू जो है वो कुछ इसी तरह का है और आज हम ये जानने की कोशिश करेंगे कि एक आ, वीडियो गेम डिवेलपर या एक प्रोग्रामर जो है वो इस दुनिया को या इस कायन को किस नज़र से देखता है एंड हेंस द टाइटल जो आप मेरी पुष्ट पे बोर्ड पे लिखा हुआ देख सकते हैं वी व्यू इन द यूनिवर्स थ्रू द आइज ऑफ अ प्रोग्रामर और इसके लिए वी आर वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू आर स्पीकर मेरे दाएँ जानब तशरीफ़ फरमाए अलतमश खान आतिश इज़ अ सीजन गेम डिज़ाइनर विद एक्सटेंसिव एक्सपीरियंस हैविंग सर्व एज द फॉर्मर लीड गेम डिज़ाइनर एट द एट द गेम स्टॉम स्टूडियोज़ एंड एप्स लॉजिक्स थ्रू आउट हिज कैरियर ही हैज़ वर्क ऑन ओवर वन हंड्रेड एप्स फॉर एंड्रॉइड आई ओ एस एंड पी सी मोर ओवर इज़ एक्सपर्टीज़ इन गेम डिज़ाइन इन एडिशन टू इज एक्सपर्टीज़ इन गेम डिज़ाइन अलतमश खान आतिश इज़ अ पैशनेट फिलोसफी इंथ्यूजियास्ट विद अ पर्टिकुलर इंटरेस्ट इन एशियट फिलोसफीज तो ये बहुत मेरे मैं खुद भी मुतजस हूँ कि वो फलसफे के और अपने जो आई टी का उनका प्रोग्रामिंग का जो तजर्बा है उन दोनों को कैसे वो इस दुनिया को देखने में इस्तेमाल करेंगे और बुरे कार लाएंगे अब सब लोगों की आमद का शुक्रिया प्लीज़ डू एस अ फेवर एंड रोज़ाना की तरह अपने सेल फोन जो है प्लीज़ आप साइलेंट मोड में कर लें सो दैट देर इज़ नो डिस्ट्रैक्शन और हमारी तोज्जो जो है गुफ्तु पर ही रहे आप इस गुफ्तु में ज़रूर शरीक होइएगा जस्ट रेज योर हैंड फर्स्ट सो दैट दिस माइक्रोफोन इज गिवन टू यू तो यही थी दो तीन छोटी सी गुजारिश नाउ प्लीज़ वेलकम अल्तमश खान आतिश थैंक यू Hello so I'll first begin by sharing something that I watched on TV and it was The Twilight Zone. In The Twilight Zone there was this episode and in that episode during that episode it always started in a court room always it started in a court room. And at the end of the court session the person was sent to death. And that person said don't do this if I die you die that's what he said people were confused why would you say that he said you're all part of my dream you're all part of my dream and since this is my dream if you eliminate me your existence will disappear you'll not no longer exist and they were like hang on a second how can we be part of your dream we have the background we had parents and we have jobs we have children so how can we part of uh, how can we be part of your dream and he was like in all dreams everybody has a background when the mind creates anything inside of a dream all the people that you see if you really the characters in that dream found out that he's correct this is a dream but by the time he wanted to stop that person from going to the electric chair he was dead so he disappeared as well what i'm trying to say is is that his brain created a simulation a world within a world and the brain was capable that is why it can do that if you land in any world in your dream that that wall as a background sometimes it makes sense sometimes it doesn't but if the dream if you're in a deep sleep most of the dreams are going to make sense and you'll be like this is familiar i know this place i know these people even if you don't know them you'll say i know them and this is my friend although you may not have seen this person before when a programmer looks at the universe and how the system of things work we first take a look at the laws that this world and this universe operates on and we take a look at what we can do when we are using our computers when we're making video games and when we're thinking about all of these things that if 
we can make a game engine, we can program a game, and we can make a game in a way where we don't even know what the outcome of that game is. What is, what is that game then? And what proof do we have that the world that we live in is base reality or is a simulation within a reality? We don't really know that. But what we do know is this. All game engines and all programs have laws, have rules. And if the rules are designed and implemented in such a way where you say you will operate in this set of rules and once we push you, once those things start happening, those within those rules anything can happen. Things can be created, things can be destroyed, which happens usually in procedurally generated games and also games where mostly the things that you see you are inside an ever-expanding universe and the, there are games like No Man's Sky where the further you go the universe expands. In, in the programmer's point of view if, even if we are not in a simulation it kind of feels like one and it definitely operates like one because when we make a game and when we make a program we are kind of doing the same things that this world is doing. Yes, it is true that the game engine that we create and the physics and the chemistry and all of the laws that we use inside of the game engine are based on the laws of this world. But we can replicate them. That is the most, that is, that is the, that is a scary thing that we can do this in the computer. We can create a world in a computer. We can create a star system inside of a computer with characters in, in a world with their lives, with their memories. We can do that. It'll take a lot, lot of time and very good programming knowledge, but we can do that. In theory, we can. And there are certain AI these days that can also operate somewhat like a like a foolish human being, let's just say, call them foolish human beings or human beings that are intellectually impaired. So what happens is, is that if you have an artificial intelligence that is super intelligent, it might probably not know that it is inside of a simulation because it's operating within a world and if you don't tell it that you are in a simulation, it would know. And it would continue operating within the rules, creating things, destroying things, and making, its, making things inside of its world, using the rules and using the code of that world. And this is basically, what, essentially, what the Matrix was. If you take a look at the Matrix, which was a simulation, the people inside the Matrix didn't really know that they were in a simulation. Similarly, there was a game, which is Soma, which actually questioned what does it really mean to be alive. In that game, people were inside of a simulation. Their entire brains were copied and put inside robots and put inside simulated walls. And they never knew that they were inside of a simulation. And the reason for that is, is because unless somebody tells you that you are in a simulation, you will never know. And if, if nobody tells you, then you'll have to find glitches in the simulation to tell, which will explain what the, uh, whether you are in a simulation or not. Now, one of the most uh, fascinating, fascinating things is that uh, this world actually kind of operates in a game engine way if you take a look at level of detail, which is a thing inside of games. In level of detail, what happens is games have to optimize the resources that a computer is using. So something that's very far away, very far away from you, isn't rendered properly. It's rendered as a low polygon version. So let's suppose that there is a tree. Now you can see all of the details of the tree. You can see textures of the tree and you can see the leaves of the tree and the branches of the tree and, and, the, and the colors of the tree. What a game engine does is, as since it goes far away, if, if it's very far away, the game does not need to use its resources to render the textures and the and the and the leaves and the and and the details. It doesn't need to do that. So what it does is, it loads up a model which 
just has generic leaves, doesn't have textures, and doesn't have normal maps, and doesn't have the map detail. And by, by when, uh, if you're not a game developer, map details are basically the details which tells the textures how to look like once you view them. So when a tree is far away, the, tr the leaves disappear, and you just have, basically, if it's a 3D model, sometimes it becomes a 2D picture of that tree because that is easier to render. And this is what our world does actually, what I believe, and what a programmer believes. Because most of you probably know about the double slit experiment, probably most of you know that, where what happened was that, um, and this is something that even scientists cannot explain. So what happened was during the double slit experiment that uh, there, were, there was a fluorescent screen they fired light, I believe it was electrons, and what happened was that uh, they opened up one slit, which the light passed through, it created one band. And that, that was light or electrons behaving as a particle. But when they opened the second slit, they, f they saw four bands instead of two, which means the electrons became a wave, or the light became a wave. And People were surprised, like, how can that happen? How can light or electrons change their, change their pattern, change, to change their entire behavior when you open the second that they are somehow interacting with each other? And uh, so what they did is they placed a sensor on the upper slit to see how many electrons are passing through the upper slit. I, I believe it was either light or if it was electrons. I believe it was electrons. So they so, so they put a light, uh, put a detector on the on the slit on the upper slit to to detect how many electrons are passing through. As soon as it did that, those electrons started making two bands again. So they changed their behavior, and that is something that has still baffled scientists. And it's like, how did this happen? How did the electrons do this? The only, only explanation they had is, is that electrons found out that they were being observed. So they changed their behavior. This is similar to how game engines behave where they change their behavior based on, how, well, based on the observer. So sometimes what happens is if there is, there is a character that is very far away and it's a character, it's a full 3D model, its face will not be rendered. It will just be a box. But when you get closer to it, its face starts rendering, you can see the contours and everything because you're getting closer to it. So the closer you get to something, the more detail this world shows. This is quite fascinating. And it, it, this means that this basically there is something that we still don't understand. The people who believe, and programmers that believe that uh, this entire world is basically a system of things, which I'm saying simulation is not necessarily a simulation. I mean, whoever created this entire universe had to do something like they had to come up with rules and physics, so without it, it can it can it can work. Of course, you need a system of things, whatever it is. But most people that I speak to believe that the Earth is the center of everything, and the, all the other planets don't really make sense. Like if you take a look at uh, if Michio Kaku said, the more we the more we take a look at the universe, the more we find out how pointless it basically is. And it is pointless. Like, if you take a look at all of the other planets, they, uh, they have the same elements that, they're made out of the same elements that are on Earth, but they're pointless. If, I mean, according to our understanding, they're pointless. Nothing can survive there. Or if something is surviving there, doing, they're doing a very good job at not, not making us know. Like, we don't know if something can survive there, like those temperatures, and some of them are so dark, and we haven't found a single planet. So, a single planet that can support human life, we haven't found that. So, what programmers believe is that this universe is most likely, just like a game engine, a procedure is being procedurally generated. The further you go, the more planets are created to, to keep people inside of that box that they're, they're in a universe and keep them un, in the illusion. That's what some of my programmer friends say. And they say that the reason for that is, is because we can do this. We can create a, create a game engine and a game where we go, as uh, the further we go, the more planets are created. And they will remain consistent as long as the computer can handle it. We can do this. It is possible. We just, we just set, up, set up some rules 
set up the name of the elements and say that this can be a mixture of this, this can be a mixture of that, and you've, got, you've just got an infinite universe. The only time it will crash is when the computer is simply not good enough to handle all of the data. That is the only time it's going to basically crash. Otherwise, it's going to keep running. So another thing that we, which I will ask all of you, what did the, what did the witch in Snow White say when she looked into the mirror? What did she say? Has anybody uh, heard Snow White? Like, yeah. How many, how many, how many remember this, that the Snow White... Okay, how many of you remember Star Wars? And uh, how many how many know that that place where that that scene where Anakin and uh, Anakin basically Darth Vader was uh, told told the uh, told the told uh, Luke Skywalker that he is the father. What is the line? Yeah. How many people say I'm your father, he said? All right. So there are two Mandela effects. Most people remember I'm your father. He said, Luke, I'm your father. And most people in Snow White, many people believe that he said, uh, that the witch said, mirror, mirror on the wall. And millions of people say mirror, mirror on the wall. It was actually magic mirror on the wall. But people, magic mirror on the wall, and people swear by it that they, throughout their childhood, they have, heard, uh, they have heard mirror, mirror on the wall. And this is called the Mandela effect, where people, people, basically a large portion of the population, believe that something happened which never did. There are certain people that believe a logo. Uh, how many of you know Pikachu? Right? What does the tail look like? Black zigzag on the end, right? There is no black zigzag on the end. It's all yellow. There's yellow. It's totally yellow. Yeah, seriously, look it up. That's the Mandela effect. Everybody says that. It's yellow. It's totally yellow. There's not a single black on the, on the tail. That's a Mandela effect. This, uh, this is a glitch in the simulation, basically. This is what people believe. You see, what happens is, is that our brain can creates memories when there's a glitch in the stream. And there are many. Bas basically, this is called the Mandela effect. So this is when a large population believes that, that there is something, but it's actually not there. Like, how many of you played Monopoly? Have you? Do you know about the, do you know about the, uh, the, the mascot? All right, fine. <laughs> okay, so most people basically uh, basically uh, believe uh, believe that that uh, Pikachu has a black thing. He doesn't, never did. He is all it's all yellow. So that's a Mandela effect. So these are basically small signs that somehow, some way, this simulation or this world corrects itself, and due to that, false memories are created. But this happens. Like in, like in, like many people, if they if they believe in the same thing, then it's called the Mandela effect. Most people believe that Man Nelson Mandela died in jail. That never happened. It never happened. But many people can swear by it that they that they actually saw Man Nelson Mandela die in jail, or they knew that Man Nelson Mandela died in jail. That never happened. So basically, what a programmer does is, and the people that are basically inside of the simulation. Uh, the people who believe that we are in a simulation, what they do is they try to reverse engineer. They try to find out how this world is working and what can, what what is basically happening. And many people say, and many people take a look at quantum physics, and they say that it, there's there's a there's a saying: if you believe you understand quantum physics, then you don't understand it. You know that's that's what they say because that is something that we will never ever understand, even 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 if we try to, because according to quantum physics. You, all of you exist, now you don't. Because I'm not looking at you. So that's what quantum physics is basically, because you're, you're basically observed. So you, you, are, you exist now, now you don't. 
But since you are looking at me, I'm entangled in your reality. So that's the reason why you, you uh, why I exist. And if you throw something at me, it'll hit me, because you you basically, you have basically you basically view me. And now I'm part of your your world or your simulation or your reality or probably I'm not real. Probably you're not real. I don't know. You uh, who like if I was to take your brain or imprint of your brain while you're sleeping, or let's say somebody somehow eliminated you while you're sleeping, takes an imprint of your brain, puts it in a computer, and uses your memories to recreate the Earth, you would know that. You would absolutely not know that. And that's how a programmer sees the world. There is a time, like people say that probably the world has ended and we are in, a, in some kind of a virtual pod and living, living inside of... A, simulation just like in a matrix because some some of us have a purpose and that purpose is probably to entertain somebody with a very 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 you know who really really wanted to be entertained and you know what the good thing about a simulation people say that oh like if if there was if if this world was that organized or this world had a purpose and no if this no 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 i'm wrong this world definitely we do not know what the purpose of the world is but people say the person who created this, wouldn't they know that uh, these bad things will happen if we did this? And the answer is no. The reason why you run a simulation is because you do not know the end. That's the purpose. Why you, uh, that is the entire reason of, uh, of running a simulation. In the world today, we run simulations to find out what will happen. So that explains why most people, when they say that, oh, you know, this world, it doesn't make any sense and... If 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 the if any creator, whichever creator you believe in, is that powerful and that, why wouldn't he know? Well, he set the rules. Or if if you believe in a creator, they set the rules. They did this. They did that. And then whatever happens, happens. Because if I create a game, which is very sophisticated with AI, I don't know what the AI will do. I can predict what it'll do, but I don't know. There has been this very this there has been this very mm, this concepts in the Matrix too that programs inside of the Matrix went rogue. You know those agent uh, uh, those rogue programs that were basically sent to be deleted in the Matrix two and Matrix Reloaded I believe that was the that was the well, that was the movie, the program that could glitch the Matrix systems they were programs that were supposed to be deleted, but they did not want to be deleted, so they became rogue programs in the Matrix. That's what they became. So even the Matrix creators, the creators of the Matrix, couldn't do anything about it. And we know every one of us, and mostly, uh, mostly in, 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 in Pakistan, most of the population is Muslim. We just know one rogue, one, per, one thing that went rogue in our belief system. Who is that? Yes. Just one. And look at what happened after that. So basically, a programmer reverse engineers what they see, tries to reverse engineer what they see. And if I make games, I can tell you, there would come a time where we would be able to create simulations which will be similar to our world. In SOMA, which is a game, it's not easy to get information from people, from criminals. So what they do is, they take the imprint of the brain. Prisoners, they would take the imprint of a prisoner's brain. They put it in a computer and torture that prisoner until they would, they would give the information. That's what they did in SOMA, which is a video game. No, uh, that, that's not the, uh, what I'm saying is, is this. The SOMA and the video game, the concept was that they could imprint a person's brain into a computer. They wouldn't be torturing the person, but they would be torturing that imprint of that brain, which had the same memories, had the same history and everything. Instead of a simulation, they would torture them to get the information. Now that's thought provoking. So is the person in that computer real or is, is that person fake? I mean, they don't know that they're in a simulation, but how is that person, of course, doesn't, doesn't have the hardware, but how 
does that person that is inside the computer not have the same rights that the other person has, the one that's alive? You know? The Hamlet play, uh, we uh, come to know how is uh, uh, unconscious conscious box and he's all time in high thinking and inactive uh, doings. So it's all time circles in his mind. That's why we say, uh, and we come to know through his soliloquies of the record uh, talks. But if it would not have been the technique used as by Shakespeare, how it would reach to his conscious. The way you have uh, said about, uh, but it, it's all of like I'm a few present upon the mind for a being. It uh, comes as a tide and then goes off. So how we can uh, make the things related the way you said, that we get the imprint and then well, that's read, right. on, so, read so on, on it. So, so much is basically a game. It's a fictional universe. Okay. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's the yeah, in theory. On that basis. It's a theory. I mean, what they what they did is they, they what they it's now we don't have the technology to do we it. We declare the crime huh? happening. Huh? We try to uh, you can say read the minds of the crime. The, the, uh, listen, we do not have the, in theory. We can do a lot of things. The 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 clever the gene. Huh? What about clever gene? Clever gene is all time present in you can say uh, criminals. And that's never ever been traced. No, actually, about. I'm speaking about something different. Let, okay. let me let me explain. Let me explain what I'm saying. No, we cannot imprint the brain yet. In Soma, it was a it was a game that is supposedly taking place in the very distant future. They de well, developed the technology to imprint the brain. That means they could they could somehow get the get the get all of the information that we have, all the memories in the brain, and put it in the computer. We haven't de developed that technology. Probably we never will. But it, what they question this that if we if we have imprint of the brain inside of a computer, then what is that computer then? That's what they that's what they question. Like, what does that computer become? In fact, uh, soma is actually very interesting because after they took the imprint of a human being and put it inside of a robot, the human being saw their arms as if they were human arms for a huge number of years because their brain simply couldn't comprehend that this is a robot arm. And if somebody goes and tells them that they're a robot, they're saying, what are you talking about? You're like full of crap. Like, uh, I'm a human being. Because their brain hadn't developed the, couldn't fathom the idea, couldn't, it wasn't so much denial that they would look at their hands and they would, uh, they would, they, they would be human hands, although they were robots. And the 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 main the person who was actually uh, the 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 protagonist in, in the game, he also thought that he was a human. He was actually a robot. So the only way he found out was when he, he when he was thrown into 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 a, a water, and he found out that he was in a he was in a ro ro uh, he was he was in a robot body because a robot body was actually a swimmer robot body. So at that time, it actually because he could he could breathe. He started choking like a normal person would, but uh, he, when, when he like, took his first breath, he could breathe. And he was like, what is happening? Then his br brain started registering that, oh, he's a robot. Then he, he could see his hand morph into a robot's hand. And also there's another thing too that uh, programmers really, really find disturbing. It, when they look at the game Soma, is that when they were transferring the consciousness, the mind of, of, of one person to the body of another. The weird thing in that, in that game was that there was a 50% chance that the imprint or the, or the going from one body to another, there was a 50% chance that it would not happen completely. So you would have two versions of the same person. The, the imprint would happen, but the person whose imprint was taken wouldn't die. So in that game, what happened was that you had to go into another body. But when you go to that other body, your previous body didn't die, but it became unconscious. And then you have to make the choice, would you kill that or will you let it live? And most people are like, how can we kill ourselves? Like, that is us. That was us a few, few, a few minutes ago. That's just one mind to another. Like, that's, that's just a hardware change, but... Is that person me or is that person not me anymore? And am I a copy or was that person real? You know, those kind of things. The programmer basically takes a look at all of these things and the code and everything and looks at this, the mind as a computer program. Everybody has this chip inside. Everybody has a brain which 
runs on some uh, some uh, but it, was, it has a, its own biology, chemicals, physics, but all inside of it is basically what we call the code of the universe or the program. And that is what a computer, uh, that is what a programmer always looks at. And that is why, why I believe Elon Musk and even Neil deGrasse Tyson believe that we are in a simulation. Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, Neil, DeGrasse, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson says that there's 50% chance that we are in a simulation, 50% that we aren't in one. But Elon Musk says that there, the chance that we are not in a simulation is like, uh, like uh, the odds are 1 billion. He believes that we are in a simulation. Whereas I'd say we shouldn't care. If this is base reality or... This is a simulation we shouldn't care. What we should care about is what difference we can make and how we can make the simulation better and uh, less painful for all those around and uh, what we can do to help others and those that are weaker than us, how we can help them to achieve the goals that they wish to achieve and also achieve our goals and hopefully make our generations that are to come and be part of this base reality or simulation just better. Thank you very much. Q&A session, please. Assalamu alaikum. Um, you said about code, bare mein na, like when a programmer codes, he doesn't like uh, wo sare deterministic code nahi likhta, kaat, like for example if you are simulating a world So like what are the rules of the world like uh, <coughs> let's say ke dunya mari itni complex hai and like let's assume ke ek simulation bana rahe hai, ek, um, creator like a programmer So what are the rules of that game like uh, usko si baat hai, he has to start somewhere um, to, Stephen Wolfram के बारे में पढ़ा था उन्होंने कहा था एक रूलियड ऑब्जेक्ट होता है लाइक like, uh, उसमें यह था कि एक कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी अराइव फ्रॉम एनी लेवल लाइक उन्होंने कहा था लाइक फ्रॉम अ सिंपल कोड अ सिंपल रूल्स यू कैन एक्चुअली सिमुलेट एनीथिंग तो आपके उस बारे में क्या ख्याल है कि लाइक रूलियड ऑब्जेक्ट के बारे में एंड सेकंडली व्हाट व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट द रूल्स ऑफ द गेम अगर आप अपनी पर्सनल ओपिनियन दें थैंक यू देखिए मुझे जो उसका पता है कि जो आपने उसका जो बात की है उसके बारे में तो मैं नहीं कोई बात नहीं कर सकता क्योंकि मुझे उसका पता नहीं है जिस चीज के बारे में आपने कहा है ना मैं ये कहूंगा कि मैंने ये अपनी शुरू में टॉक में कहा था कि अगर मैं कोई रूल बनाऊंगा तो मैं वो उन उन रूल्स को उन रूल्स को इस्तेमाल करूंगा जिसका मुझे पता है लाइक सो व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज इज दैट आइदर आई विल क्रिएट अ गेम और अ सिमुलेशन based on my base reality, which I believe is my base reality, which might not be, or make a smaller version of that. Like, first, we are in 3D world. Mein rahe rahe. 2D, 2D mein bhi puri world can be made in two dimensions. In that case, it will be less than one dimension. But the thing is that I can't make a game of four dimensions. I don't know how to make a game of four dimensions. ना तो मैं ये मैं ये जरूर ये ऐसी गेम जरूर बना सकता हूं जिसके अंदर टाइप 3 टाइप 4 सिविलाइजेशंस जो है वो दिखाई दे रही हूं यानी कि हम लोग उस उधर तक नहीं पहुंचे लेकिन बात ये है कि मैं शुरू ही इस चीज से कर सकता हूं कि टाइप 4 टाइप 5 सिविलाइजेशंस मेरा रूल से मुराद ये है कि हाउ डू यू इंटेंड टू गेट देयर लाइक जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल एक रूल हो सकता है कि अ प्लेयर मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर लाइक हाउ वो एक बड़ा सिंपल सा रूल है लाइक रूल 1 लेट्स से how do you go from uh, simple rules to uh, type 4 or type 3 simulation? Nee, actually, na, uske andar ye hai ki agar hum is simulation ki baat kare na, jo agar, agar ye simulation hai, to base reality mujhe lagta hai hai. Lekin, uh, just, zaata log Big Bang ko samajhte ki Big Bang was the shuru, is this shuru yeah. ye, thik hai? To baat asal mi hai ki jo bhoat hi koi impressive programmer ho ga na, wo cheeze is tarikhe se nahi shuru karta ki rule ye hai ki point A se point B jai, wo cheeze us chaga se shuru karta hai ki set of rules bana deta hai. यानी कि ये फिजिक्स इस तरीके की होगी यहां पे क्वांटम फिजिक्स होगी यहां पे केमिस्ट्री होगी यहां पे एलिमेंट्स होंगे एंड देन लेट लेट इट लेट्स इट डू व्हाटएवर इट वांट्स टू डू ठीक है वो बेसिकली जो बिग बैंग का जो इनफैक्ट मैं ये भी बात करता हूं जो कि 
uh, the people who uh, who believe, like who are believers. I, what I say is, is that everything has to start somehow. I mean, if, even if there was a Big Bang, I mean, it, it had to start. Like uh, the universe had to start somehow. So it's it's and and if the Earth was created, yes, it was created. It could have been part of a much larger event that happened. But you know? you have that Mandela effect. Hmm? What if um, our, like we, have a creator or a programmer ne us game ke rule that uh, we assume that Big Bang happened or yeah, we assume uh, could be. It could be. Could be. Yeah, it could be a, ma a big deception. Like probably uh, there is a like I have no proof. This is, I cannot prove this. Probably the dinosaurs never existed, and it is probably the dinosaurs were planted by a rogue agent, which uh, most people call uh, the deceiver or Satan. They call him. Probably they were planted. Probably they never existed. I mean, if you believe that uh, Satan was a Satan is a very powerful and you know a rival or yeah, that kind. Of, so. Of course, the, the, that the, that uh, uh, entity would have a lot of power, and they would do whatever they w they can to deceive. So I mean, it could be. You can, you know, uh, these uh, like if let's say I was a naughty alien creating a creating a simulation for my for my viewers, I would some some uh, sometimes put just a thing here and there just to see what my pe people in of my inside my simulation are doing, just for fun, that kind of a thing. I just had a quick question. How could one establish sort of the link between a gaming simulation and the universe itself? Because fundamentally, right, when we're programming a game, our hardware is silicon based, but the life we see within the universe is biological, physical, chemical. So how do you, how do you extrapolate from that, I guess, is my question. Between, between gaming, between creating a game or simulating, right, well, what, where the hardware is so different, compared to what we see around us right now and how we study that? Well, uh, you see that uh, we are basically, the reason why we cannot, uh, the reason why we cannot create a world like this right now is because we don't really have the required expertise, you can say, and the required hardware also to run. I mean, I believe we actually do have the hardware to Uh, let me answer his, please let me answer his question first though, sorry. so uh, so uh, you see in a game uh, my a programmer basically takes a look at a set of rules like there's there is a set of rules and a good programmer if they have to create a simulation wouldn't create the earth first what they'd do is they'd create the big bang for uh, first and know that the earth will be created after a while that's what they do so they 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 not create the Earth, they create the Big Bang, and it, they, but they know that at one point the Earth will be created. But the sentient life, they'll have no control over it. Like the sentient characters that they create in the game, they wouldn't know. Just like uh, at one time AI would be so advanced that when we have characters in the game, sometimes they would, sometimes if you run the, the run the game loop again and uh, the AI, if it's super advanced, sometimes it might get angry, sometimes it, sometimes it might get sad, sometimes it might get suicidal, sometimes it might get homicidal. So these are things that can happen. Other than that, there's a game called RimWorld. Take a look at that. That is, that is basically, uh, that game is so well-coded that the programmers don't themselves know what, is the, what would be the end result of every, any play playthrough. They have set a rule. They've, they've set some rules, and uh, there was there was one instance where I uh, there was this article, you know, was, you know, it was a comment, actually a YouTube comment, where this person was playing Wimbled, and uh, he didn't he couldn't manage entertainment for his people. One of them got depressed and went on a killing spree, killed the crewmates. He didn't expect that. So. What I'm understanding is for the programmer, he or she is programming the event itself. So in this situation, it would be the Big Bang. And then the sentience life that you're talking about is the byproduct. It, yes. just, it just comes out. Okay. Things are set in motion, basically. A good programmer would not basically create the Earth. They would create, a, they would create this Big Bang and then 
through that, the earth and the stars and all of those other things are created, eventually life, and you know, that's what they would do. आपका मैंने आंसर मैंने अभी इसमें इंटरप्ट किया था हम जो भाई ने बात की थी सिलिकॉन बेस्ड हार्डवेयर के आई थिंक जो ट्यूरिंग जो ट्यूरिंग कंप्लीट का जो ट्यूरिंग सॉरी ट्यूरिंग मशीन का कॉन्सेप्ट है वो ये कि गिवन इनफ रिसोर्स एंड इनफ टाइम और गिवन इनफ मेमोरी यू कैन सिमुलेट एनी थिंग जो एल एन ट्यूरिंग का कॉन्सेप्ट है ना बेसिक कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्ट का तो वो हार्डवेयर इट वॉज द लाइक अ थियोरेटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट बट इट्स नॉट लिंक टू एनी हार्डवेयर लाइक गिवन एनफ रिसोर्स एंड इनफ मेमोरी यू कैन सिमुलेट एनी थिंग एक्चुअली मोस्ट पीपल नॉट नो दिस बट वी ऑलवेज हैव द टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर ए आई बट वी डिट हैव द प्रोसेसिंग पावर we always had the technology like uh, not always but years ago we had that technology we knew how ai would be created and even these days too i think it's a little bit i, I haven't taken a very close look at ai but some people believe that large language models aren't really the ai that that will change our world it'll be agi or something that is going to be much more complex well, uh, like large language models are large language models they kind of are like yeah but a weak for most people say that they they're different opinions like the nobody is correct nobody is incorrect so okay uh, this can be a silly question but how can you define the relationship between the one who creates the game or the one who plays the game uh a creator usually creates something to share while keeping the player in his mind the players are just like that's the scary part if 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 some if the the world was created it was created for the purpose of sharing there's no other way. there's no other reason a creator creates but you create the rules a creator creates right yeah. if i'm a good programmer i would want to make a good game and release it to the public so i can be praised i mean that would be the purpose or people could enjoy playing it right but the the thing about a creator that has created sentient life or ai or life is that they want to share that with other creators or other other you know people that they know so that they can see that this is the creation that they did and they can admire or praise that right so the player inside of the game if you're talking about the player that's inside the game or the one that's playing the game the so the pe- person that is playing the game i'm not talking about th- that's not a simulation that is actually a game right so the 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 that is an experience for the player to enjoy whereas a simulation is an experience for the viewers to enjoy you know that's the difference कोशिश में रहा कि मैं कोई सवाल बना सकूं कुछ बना नहीं लेकिन कुछ रैंडम थॉट्स जो आ रही थी पैरल करने की आ, आप गेम्स खेलते हैं जिस तरह तो उसमें रिवार्ड होते हैं उसमें पनिशमेंट भी होती है समथिंग गोज रोंग तो आपके चांसेस खत्म लग एक लेवल से आप दूसरे लेवल पे जाते हो जनरली हर अगला लेवल पहले से ज़्यादा मुश्किल होता है मगर मोर रिवॉर्डिंग भी होता है और फिर उसको आसान बनाने के लिए यूजली देर आर cheat codes when i used to play need for speed to to bas main bhi soch raha tha ki hum bhi universe badi purasrar si ek hamare samne wo ek bisat hai bahut dilchaspi hai aur jis tarah game ke andar koi na koi logic hai uske piche programming hai coding hai kisi jagah pe agar koi cheez theek या कोई अनोखी भी हो रही है तो उसके पीछे भी देर इज अ लॉजिक द प्रोग्रामिंग लॉजिक तो यूनिवर्स के अंदर भी जो कुछ हो रहा है दैट इज दैट सीम्स टू बी वेरी वेल प्रोग्राम्ड उसके अंदर जैसा चीट को ढूंढने की कोशिश करते हैं खुद से आने की आवाज है हाँ जो शायद हमारा अपना मफरूजा ही हो और अच्छा अब ये द ब्लैक होल है ना तो कहा जाता है कि ये वर्म होल्स हैं या ब्लैक होल्स हैं जो कि शॉर्ट कट हैं किसी और दुनिया की तरफ जो एक नुक्ते से दूसरे नुक्ते तक शायद इन्फिनिट लाइट ईयर्स अवे हो लेकिन दीज आर योर शॉर्ट कट्स 
तो बस मैं यही सोच रहा था कि गेम्स के अंदर भी हम चीट कोड्स ढूंढते हैं कोई शॉर्टकट्स इस तरह होते हैं बाज़ात होते हैं बाज़ात नहीं होते बाज़ात आप उसकी तलाश में अपनी जो आपके पास चांस होते हैं या जो लाइव्स होती हैं गेम में वो खो देते हैं तो हम भी बहुत से कुछ साइंटिफिक हम चीट कोड्स ढूंढते हैं जो शायद ठीक भी होती हैं प्रोग्रामिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बाज़ात हम कुछ ऐसे खुद से बनाते हैं जिनकी शायद कोई हकीकत ना होती हो लेकिन वो हमें तस्किन दे देते हैं बस दीज दीज वर जस्ट सम रैंडम थाट्स बाय द वे कोई रेलिवेंस अगर आप जोड़ सकें वो मूवी है ना सोर्स कोड नहीं देखी आपने ओ आई विज यू आपने देखी होती वो शायद गिलानी साहब ने देखी हो I wanted to ask about as a sociological speaking point of view if you make a program as to how to manage the people in coming uh, years and uh, you want to get them trained and skilled and to get reactions and response based on emotional intelligence could you do it for example uh, the way you create an environment and you uh, traditionally and conventionally the way uh, you can say and the human race traveled through mostly we say okay, uh, still intellectual evolution is going on and man hasn't got the uh, full control on its emotions and for for example uh, we we do say okay, we would do uh, this act or will say this thing uh, surely the hate will develop and if, if we do this and say this will automatically the love will come but again we could say okay, despite we saying uh, bitter and doing bitter uh, not attacking at some culture or religion or some attached emotion despite no hate is coming on so you can make the program like that okay, you can change the whole gambit of thinking patterning the way it's going on and at as alternate route you make it okay, when people in general uh, middle and lower you can say in operational life ke aap aisa karte hain to foran aapko matlab for example nafrat milti hai aisa karte hain foran love milti hai lekin there could be a uh, state of mind ke wahan uh, you could go beyond love and hate na aap par mohabbat asar karti hai na aap par nafrat asar karti hai aur ye aage ja ke aap एक प्रोग्राम बनाते हैं और कहते हैं कि कैसे जो है माइंड कुड बी अब एवरी थिंग एंड आवर पीपल कुड बी मेड एंड सेट ऑन सच मोड्स के वी वुड नॉट एक्सपेक्ट के वी विल डू दिस आर वी से बेटर आर वी विल अपोज सम आइडिया और आइडियोलॉजी और समथिंग बट देर वुड बी नो हेट कमिंग फ्रॉम सो वी कैन ब्रिंग द हुमेन रेस ऑफ पीपल अप टू दैट लेवल एंड वी कैन क्रिएट आर लेबोरेटरी काइंड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट where we can make the experiment experiment doesn't mean that people are like robots but we would say okay, how to think in new perspective for example how we can change the coming world through how to think plan okay uh, if you think in this way you would not face uh, hate even the words would be bitter and would be uh, you can say uh, making irritating person there can there would be no irritation there would be no uh, hate there would be no as such negativity it means that we are traveling through and uh, social sciences could reach at that ke we could get the results through artificial intelligence ke what question we could uh, give to uh, chat gp or like and the response could come ke if you do this way expectations are there lekin kahi agar aapko in out results upar niche milte hain to aap agli bar next level par try karte hain and in this way you can Uh, get success to create an environment agar aapko 2 4 5 7 10 cases bhi mil jate hain you can set model as for others emotional intelligence ke point of view se main baat karu ki it's a new uh, reality rising in the present world simulation dissimulation that's uh, uh, if i were to create a simulation i would want to create a simulation if i had the capability to create one where the life inside would not have the knowledge of bad Now what does that mean I don't know what that means but I know that the knowledge of good and bad is the is the ye keh raha hu ke human mind should reach at such maturity ki we should not see the things through the uh, lens of I, religion I, I culture tradition I was, coming, I was coming to that ji ji yeah that's what i'm saying according to me the perfect way of li- life is not knowing what bad is 
Now, what does that mean? I, I do not know what that means entirely, but what I can tell you is that if you don't have the knowledge of bad things, your life would be fine. The problem is that the knowledge of good and bad is essentially the knowledge of something that should not have ever been part of the human race. We should only have known what good is. Not, we should never have known what bad things are and how bad can be done. But good and bad is coming through the experimentation of the human uh, no, uh, uh, being, uh, as you can uh, say. Uh, what I'd main, say. I say that there is a holistic view. In a holistic view, mein, for example, all kinds of uh, subjects are in social sciences, natural sciences, or uh, human uh, jo, uh, hai, uh, ground reality, or situation, ke mutabak, jo common sense you uh, apply. On the common sense ke base, par hota hai, ke aapke mind ke andar, फादर पर आपको कोई इरिटेट कर रहा है लेकिन अगर इंफॉर्मेशन ऑलरेडी उसके अंदर मौजूद है कि हाउ इरिटेशन कम्स या हाउ मोशन रिस्पांस तो यू वुड नॉट बी इट मींस कि इफ देयर इज नो इंफॉर्मेशन ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इन योर माइंड देन इन हैविंग योर एम्प्टी माइंड यू रिएक्ट टू दिस या आई डिड मेनी एक्सपेरिमेंट्स थ्रू इट कि इंफॉर्मेशन मौजूद है तो वुड नॉट अफेक्ट एज हेट और लव और यूफोरिया और एक्सट्रेसी और वटएवर यू वांट टू I'd still remove the knowledge of bad from me. Hey, for example, you say good and bad. And for example, if a person doesn't know the bad, hmm. ba good and bad are the products and the phantoms of the mind. Are, are the experiments which are coming hmm. through. Okay, hmm. If we do, uh, people, if we do this thing, they would be murdered, they would be killed, they would be uh, rashed out, or something is there. But it, it means that experiments should uh, keep going, and we could uh, be able to create an environment. The, the, is there an environment that is coming more? Actually, like yeah, I understand what you're saying, but uh, my perspective is this I think that the, there is knowledge of bad that exists in human beings, and they're uh, exposed to it. Right. Uh, first of all, I'm really sorry for being informal. Uh, next silly question. Uh, according to your uh, title, Weaving the Universe Through the Eyes of a Programmer, what will be the future concept? What will be the future ideas? Uh, can you share with us any production, any report? So I don't understand the question. Can you, like... Uh... I'm saying your title, Weaving uh, the Universe Through the Eyes of a Programmer. What will be the future ideas? What will be the future concept? Any report, any production, can you share with us? Uh, I basically am not producing anything myself. But what you can find a lot of YouTube videos where people decode or deconstruct the universe and why they think that this is working in a certain pattern similar to how you can create in inside of a computer hardware. But these are all like like people talk about black holes that they're they're in tier, like they they think that if you enter one, you'll enter you'll uh, you'll exit from a white hole. That's what they say, but they can never prove it. So similarly, uh, what programmers believe is, is that this might be based reality. But what we believe is that at one time we will be able to create such a world inside of a computer. And that is where we are, we are basically we are terrified. Like we, we feel a little bit scared that what if we are ourselves are in part of, part of somebody else's entertainment system. That is what we're scared of. Basically, it's not, it's not, it's not that uh, we are, I think we are in base reality. But this base reality basically operates as if, we, as if we are in a simulation. And it's not a very difficult thing to understand because the law of physics, chemistry, biology, and if you take a look at the universe and all of the planets, they don't make sense. Like all the planets, the other planets, all of the other, they, they don't make sense. I mean, the, uh, even Michio Kaku said that the universe is so pointless, we don't understand why it was created. So it's kind of like that, that if you want to uh, take a look at reports and these production videos, uh, there are many on YouTube and everybody shares their opinions. But for a programmer, it's always this, that we are terrified of the idea that we will be able to create a world like this in, in the future in a computer. And they would know that they're in a simulation. That is a problem. And uh, even uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson spoke about this, that there's a simulation that creates another simulation that creates another simulation that, so that's basically the thing. Last, a very short question. While uh, creating a game or uh, a simulation, what are the 
moral and ethical traits you are considering? The reason why a simulation in SOMA was created because they could do things that the world deemed questionable. Like, uh, like let's say, torturing prison, prison uh, prisoners. You can't do that, but you can do that in a simulation if you can imprint their brain somehow. You can basically, I don't know, cut their limbs off. But you can't do that in, in real life. So that's a terrifying idea. So if, if you, if, uh, so it, it, there are no laws, especially if, 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 we are, if, if a simulation is created to entertain somebody, there are definitely not, no laws. In fact, uh, there is a friend of mine who believes that the, that the people that are most successful in the world are actually the most entertaining. They're doing something that somebody likes, and therefore they have power. You know, right. When people say that, you know, faith changes things, and if you believe in God, then, well, just a click of a button and your life is changed. It's just fortune finds you. Thank you.